The Hydrosphere's research network brings together a range of academic disciplines with landscape stakeholders involved in the Sheffield Lakeland Landscape Partnership. This large heritage lottery funded programme manages a range of landscape scale projects in the Upper Don catchment, north and west of Sheffield. It's led by the Sheffield and Rotherham Wildlife Trust in partnership with Yorkshire Water, Sheffield City Council, the Environment Agency, Parish Councils and a range of community organisations. The Upper Don is a hydrological landscape, characterised by its reservoirs since the mid-19th century, by the industrialisation of its rivers for water power, and then as waste sinks for mining, steel and a rapidly growing urban population, and more recently by the tensions between land use and management upstream and vulnerable populations at severe risk of flooding downstream. Decisions about land and water management within this context take place not just within the physical environment, quantified by rainfall, runoff, topography or natural capital. Where, when and how projects are designed and implemented is determined by a hidden landscape of conflict and consensus, shaped by history and memory and constantly reshaped by individual and collective politics, perceptions, practice and personal relationships. The Hydrosphere's network proposes that arts are the means by which this complex psychogeographical landscape can be explored and co-design a tool by which it can be mapped and, crucially, reshaped and reformed. At the core of the Hydrosphere's network activity is a series of landscape laboratories Originally conceived as participatory arts-based workshops physically embedded in the catchment landscape, COVID has forced these to be rescheduled, redesigned and run online. Two landscape labs have been completed to date, with two more planned for later in 2021. The severe flooding of the Don catchment in late 2019, followed by the pandemic, has demanded attention in the formation of the workshops. Initial discussions among academic network participants identified three key roles for art, and arts in the broadest sense, in relation to landscape. Art as mediator between differing perspectives or areas of expertise. Art as linkage, enabling communication across spatial or timescales from those proximal to some place in the landscape and those remote from it. And art as memory or credo a store, repository and record of experience and cultural value of land and water. In the next part of this video, we'll present some of the work produced within and initial outcomes from the first two of these landscape labs. The first lab positioned a group of academics and landscape practitioners representing Sheffield and Rotherham Wildlife Trust, the Environment Agency and Sheffield City Council at Langset Reservoir, right at the top of the Don catchment. After sharing their own stories of the catchment, the group was invited to think about recently flooded Fish Lake, far downstream near the river's outlet. Upstream-downstream relationships were politically charged in the immediate aftermath of the 2019 flooding. But what of the long-term future for the lower catchment, as viewed from high on the moors? Participants combined their own experience and insight with narratives of flooding, resilience and adaptation from contemporary media and historic sources to create imagined futures for the Lower Don. These narrative exercises explored the voices of different stakeholders of the water landscape, including the human and non-human. 
Following the workshop, poet participants Harriet Tarlow and Kim Martindale embarked on a collection of poetry developing similar co-created narratives of water and land across the Upper Don, drawing on found text, incidental conversation and material from both landscape labs. It's it's a lovely the the light that you've you've got shimmering on the water is so um, inviting. I do like my cold water as well, so it's just drawing me into this space. And um, what are you focusing on there? Are you focusing on the when you look at that picture when you're painting it? Are you looking at the water, the light, the shoreline, the trees? Which is drawing you in when you first start painting? Um, well, it, it was the light um, and the um, kind of silhouette of the tree branches against the light that was coming at me. Um, um, it, you know, it's captured, captured the, the light on the land or in this case on the water, um, the, the drama. Well, that, that's, that's what art is about. And if, you know, a good artist starts off thinking, right, what do I want to say about this subject? Where do I want the the viewer to look what's oh the most goodness, the power the power you have absolutely <laughs> why do you think i paint <laughs> oh my goodness. the second lab comprised a series of online conversations between pairs of participants one a member of the local group pennine artists the other a member of the hydrospheres network each conversation focused on a single artwork which provided an entry point into the landscape, co-constructed by the artist and by the observer. These conversations drew out many common themes, but also highlighted conflicts and dissonance. They explored the role of art, the power and control exerted by the artist, and sometimes the contested interpretations of different perspectives and the difficulties in reconciling decision-making processes, especially in regulated contexts such as planning, with the matters of concern expressed through artworks. Yudan, private rush of banks, babbles itself to itself. Regather stores of upland and hurtles down weirs, under bridge. Road grime, rotting plastic spill, tongues of waste, clear ribbed bottles, cherry coloured caps, glossy black sacks, beech leaves dead again. Yudin holds, holds, boundary it is, border its burden, ducks traffic's thunder, Yudin intent, intact, rolls birdsong, sunlight, in tight, for homes bright and bit. Till bridge again its last, it's done, and dense the don, broad brown don, barrelling its mud and brash. Yudin holds, holds, dark clarity and shadow spill, but beck to river must. Yudin, Yudin, don. Don takes, holds, keeps its measure. Between land, broken tree bends out, splinters curve bows, its Base to the stone eyed bridge, cut throat clefts impaled note. Their measure, the rails bide, ghost contours in temporary silence, tuned to, tuned, smoothing, biding. Between land, brambles will have you over, thick mud ridge ripped transverse tracks, up through forestry to trail, its measure. Running, cycling, bright limbs on and into the city, shuttling the weft of the Don's dark valley, past sewage works and sewage works, along Warncliffe, through Uterbridge to town. Our work within the Hydrosphere Network to date is providing a base of evidence and experience for co-creative arts-based interventions as the basis for the forms of participation argued for by Roth et al. in this quote.
Their work on Dutch water governance highlighted the importance of making tangible the conflicts and contests which normative, rational consensus seeks to cover up. The Hydrosphere's project is co-creating with landscape decision makers in the context of live management challenges in the Upper Don watershed, a set of arts-based tools for the visualisation of and engagement with these conflicts. So, you know, why aren't we all working together and things like that? Uh, and the reason we're not working together, I, I fully believe, is that we don't have a mechanism or a medium to do that. Certainly, it's not political. We can't do it politically because we we vote for the people that are in our little patch. So, uh, uh, and and the officers are all like I said, we're, we're very much single-minded on on bits. And, and I just I just feel that art does offer such a lot because not just how it affects people, um, but how it affects the decision makers. And I just jotted down because like that John said earlier on that just the very fact that people are creating art um, of their own. They're not being paid to create art. They're creating art because they're driven to create art about a landscape. Uh, indicates to the decision makers that there must be something in that landscape that is of enough value to, to, to make people create art about it. So it's the very existence of the art itself is, is already an element of the decision-making process. In the final six months of the project, we have several further activities planned, both public-facing and academic. We welcome contacts from anyone interested in taking part in these explorations. <laughs>